Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding the equation of a straight line when you're given a point on the line and its gradient. Now let's suppose that the point on the line, the known point, has coordinates x1, y1. And let's take any point on the line. Let's call it just simply x, y. So x, y can be any point up or down this line, but this point is fixed. Now the gradient of the line we're going to call m, so the gradient is m. And by definition to work out the gradient, the gradient between two points is the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. So in other words that will be y minus y1 all divided by x minus x1. Now if we multiply both sides of this equation by x minus x1 and rearrange it, what we get is y minus y1 equals m multiplied by all of x minus x1. And this equation here is often referred to as the equation of a straight line passing through a given point x1, y1 with gradient m. What I want to show you next is how we can use this equation to find the equation of a line in various problems. So, in the first example I've got here, we've got find the equation of the line with gradient 3 that passes through the point A with coordinates 2, minus 4, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals naught. Now, we're in a position to get the equation of the line because we have the gradient m as being 3 and we have the coordinates of a point on the line x1 would be 2 and y1 would be minus 4. So therefore, what we would have then is the equation let's just have an intro here therefore, equation of line is Okay, and what is it? Well, it's going to be y minus y1, being minus 4, equals the gradient m, which is 3, multiplied by x minus x1, and x1 is 2. Now, to get the equation of the line in this particular form, what I need to do is simplify what we've got. So, we've got y plus 4 and now I'm going to expand the bracket and we have 3x minus 6. So now I'm going to subtract y from both sides and also subtract 4 from both sides and that's going to leave me with 3x minus y and minus 6 minus another 4 is minus 10 and that's going to equal 0. So I've got the equation now in the form that was requested. And if I was asked what A, B and C were, then A would be 3, B would be minus 1, and C would be minus 10. Okay, well that's a very straightforward example using the equation then of a straight line given the gradient and a point on the line. Now I'd like to run through another example with you. And in this example, We've got to find the equation of the line passing through the points A with coordinates minus 2, 3 and the point B with coordinates 3, minus 1. Given your answer again in the form AX plus BY plus C equals naught, where A, B and C are integers. Now to do this question what I'd like to do is just show you the sketch of what is happening first of all. We've got the points A and B a at minus 2, 3, B at 3, minus 1, and we've got the line passing through this. Now, first of all, I need to find the gradient, because in this question we're not given the gradient. And I can get the gradient by saying that the gradient of AB equals the difference in the Y values, so that's going to be 3 minus minus 1, 3 minus minus 1, all divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. That would be minus 2 minus 3. And if I work this out we've got 4 
divided by minus 5, which in other words is minus 4 fifths. So we have a gradient then of minus 4 fifths. Next, I can now find the equation of the line because I have the gradient and I have one point on the line. In fact, I have two points that I know that are on the line. Any of these points will do. They will both give exactly the same answer at the end of the day. So therefore, what I can say is therefore the equation of the line okay, is going to be y minus y1. Now let's just take the point A. So it would have y minus 3 equals the gradient, which would be minus 4 fifths, multiplied by x minus x1, the minus 2. Now to simplify this, what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 5. And so therefore we have 5y minus 15 equals, and if I multiply this side now by 5, it just means I've got minus 4 times what's in the bracket. So you've got minus 4 times x, which is minus 4x. And then we have minus 4 times plus 2, which is minus 8. And rearranging this, to put it in this format, ax plus by plus c equals 0, I'm going to add 4x to both sides and add 8 to both sides. So that's going to give me 4x plus 5y, and then minus 15 plus 8 is minus 7, and that's going to equal 0. Now I did say to you that you could use the point B, and it should get you to the same answer, and I'd just like to prove that to you, because if we were going to do that, the equation of the line would be y minus y1, so that's minus minus 1, equals the gradient, minus 4 fifths, multiplied by x minus x1 being the 3. And again if I multiply through by 5 I'm going to have 5y. This is plus 1 so multiply it by 5 and you've got plus 5. And then for this side the 5 is going to be cancelled out and it'll be just minus 4 times the bracket. So it'll be minus 4x plus 12. And rearranging this you can see that if I add 4x to both sides I get 4x, and if I take the 12 from both sides, I'm going to have 5y and 5 minus 12 is minus 7, equals 0. So it doesn't matter then which point you take, A or B, you can still get to the same answer. OK, well that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Equation of a line when you know the gradient m and a known fixed point on the line.